Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. Most gas furnace repairs can be accomplished after only a few disassembly steps. But before you attempt this, you should turn off the power to the furnace and shut off the gas supply as well. To gain access to components like the flame sensor and igniter, rotate the knob securing the combustion chamber panel and pull the panel off. To reach the burners, you may need to detach the manifold. To do this, use wrenches to separate the gas supply pipe union. Unthread the gas inlet pipe from the gas valve. Disconnect the wires from the flame rollout limit switches. Now remove the mounting screws to release the manifold and move the manifold out of the way. When the repair is complete, realign the manifold with the burner tubes and secure the manifold with the mounting screws. Reconnect the wires to the flame rollout limit switches. Apply sealant to the threads of the gas valve pipe, then thread the pipe into the gas valve assembly. Align the gas pipes and secure the union. Reposition the panel and rotate the knobs to secure. To gain access to components like the control board or transformer, rotate the knobs securing the blower chamber panel and pull the panel off. If you need to access the blower assembly, first loosen the screws to release the humidifier wires, if applicable. Note the orientation of the thermostat wires, then loosen the screws to detach them. If applicable, cut the control board wire harness tie to increase the slack. Now remove the screws securing the blower assembly support bracket and carefully slide the assembly out. To replace the blower assembly, align it on the support rails and slide it into position. Replace the screws to secure the support bracket. Use a zip tie to remove any slack in the control board wires. Reconnect the thermostat wires and tighten the screws to secure. Reconnect the humidifier wires, if applicable, and tighten the screws. Reposition the blower chamber panel and rotate the knobs to secure. You can now turn the gas supply back on and restore power to the furnace to confirm that it's functioning properly.